I think I'm gonna sit over here, maybe. Let's see how the lighting is. Oh, it's terrible. Let's move over. Yeah, okay, that's better. What's going on, everybody? It's Emilio from the Epic Collective. Now today, we got something really important to talk about. As you've noticed in some of our videos, a few of our members, meaning David, looking at you, David, have been pronouncing the word epic wrong. And today we're gonna dive deep and talk about how to actually say the word. Now, as most of you know, the Epic Collective is spelled E-P-O-C-H. It's not spelled E-P-I-C, like how normally epic would be spelled. So you may be thinking to yourself, why didn't we just say E-P-I-C? Why did we go E-P-O-C-H? Well, let's go to Google. All right, let's go to Google. Okay, so I'm on the computer now, and we're gonna transition from the camera here over to the laptop. Hopefully I can get the uh, audio sorted out as well. And we're gonna explain to you how to pronounce epic the right way. As you can see, there's myself, there's David and there's Jack. Uh, yes, I in fact do have the Epic Collective uh, as my background on my laptop. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to Safari, okay? And then we're gonna go to Google because Google solves everything. Google always solves problems. Now we're gonna type in Epic, E-P-O-C-H. As you can see right here, Epic, E-P-E-K, the pronunciation of the word. So in fact, David has been saying it wrong the entire time. Uh, just to prove my point. All right, so I also want to talk about how it says the beginning of a distinctive period in the history of someone or something. So basically, that's what this channel is all about. This is a distinct period in our lives in which the Epic Collective, myself, David, and Jack are, it, it's the beginning of something new. It also just highlights the uh, beginning of a distinct period that's in our time. Uh, this is a notable event that's happening for the Epic Collective. Uh, well, when we started, that is, um, for the YouTube channel. Okay, and now we're switched back over to the camera over here for my laptop. So I just want to clarify one more time. Uh, so this is on Google, right? And I typed in Epic, E-P-O-C-H, and uh, this is what the pronunciation sounds like. Epic. Epic. Just like you would uh, pronunciate the word Epic spelled E-P-I-C. So while David thinks he's pretty funny and pretty clever trying to tell you guys, as well as myself and Jack, how to pronounce epic, uh, yeah, he's wrong. He's just wrong. But that still begs the question of, what does epic mean to us? And what is it gonna mean for you? The word epic for at least myself, probably can't speak for both Jack and David, but I would assume they would agree with me that the word epic is really just a defining moment, kind of just going back to the basics of what the definition was that was on Google. We wanted a space where we could have all of our creative endeavors that we've always wanted to do, or the ideas that we've always wanted to have, and put it on a platform where we could broadcast it to everybody, not just our friends, not just our family, but from people we don't know, or people from different countries, what have you. And hence why, we started a YouTube channel and now we have all of our creative endeavors on there as well. The word epic to me, I want it to symbolize family and unity and creativity. Uh, if you watched our Cody Warner video, which by the way, go check that out. It'll be right here. Click right here, right here. There you go. Uh, he had a really great comment that says creativity is a choice. And of course creativity is a choice. What a, I mean, First of all, great quote. Probably gonna put that on t-shirts, probably gonna put that on billboards, who knows. But the fact that he said creativity is a choice is exactly why we wanted to make this YouTube channel and exactly what uh, is the foundation of the word epic to us. Creativity is a choice. We are always choosing creativity. And so to try to sum up this, this rant here and this semi, um, uh, pandering of David. Basically, we want to have this space to be as epic as it can. We want each video to be a historical event for us that we can look back on or an historical event that other people can look back on and say, wow, look at that. Once again, these guys are choosing creativity. Creativity is on their side. 
look at these guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was more of a shorter video, uh, something you guys aren't really used to, and I know that it was more of a just, hey, here's me talking kind of video as the AC uh, turns on for some reason when it's, uh, you know, 30 degrees where I'm at. If you like this video, if you like what we're doing here on the Epic Collective, please Please subscribe, share to all your friends and family. We want to spread the message of being epic out there. Um, as, as I said before in this video, creativity is a choice and we are always choosing creativity here at the Epic Collective. Until next time, see you guys. Oh, one more thing guys, don't forget to leave comments down below, ring that notification bell, follow us on social media. We got Snapchat, we got Instagram, and that's it for now because those are the only two things that we need. Anyway, see you guys.